Hi, my name is Rob Bean, and I'm a partner and marketing strategist at Refactored. During this presentation, I'll be sharing a story of digital transformation that's been both fast-paced and an exciting journey to help facilitate for a client of ours in the agriculture industry. At Refactored, we believe that most organizations will need to embark on a digital transformation project of some kind as business models are disrupted by advancements in technology. And even though change can be hard, Innovations in technology also bring new possibilities, and if leveraged properly, those advancements can help you foster environments that allow new communities to be created and new business models to be realized. This is just such a story. Now, before we get going, I'd like to share a few details about our agency. At Refactor, we believe that digital transformation should always be aligned with your buyer journey, and at its core, new processes should be continually served to reduce friction and meet customer needs throughout an effective experience. Our full service agency is 100% focused on helping organizations navigate the complexities of modern marketing by aligning people, process, and technology. Our core practice areas include marketing strategy and messaging, demand generation powered by digital campaigns, SEO, SEM, and social, and online customer engagement. We specialize in web design and development that effectively engages stakeholders while enriching and improving the customer digital experience, generating the results that matter to you. Our teams are all Colorado-based, and we have offices in both Denver and Fort Collins. We believe in great communication, excellent customer service, and high-performance results, and we have a long story and a long history of serving B2B software, security, and life science companies, along with large associations and nonprofit organizations. We believe that your brand has a compelling purpose, and we're here to help you achieve it. Refactored creates engaging customer experiences that align your brand purpose with the motivations of your target audience. Now, inspiring your customers is a great start, but it's not where we stop. We also help you effectively educate, engage, and motivate stakeholders into positive action. Our solutions and approach are always customized to your needs, and we work to find the right balance of services that help you reach your goals, whether that be marketing strategy, branding, content development and demand generation, website development and digital marketing, or even solutions designed to help the sales teams with sales enablement and account-based marketing solutions. We really believe that we're building the future. We build experiences that are focused on customers, content architecture that's driven by strong and solid taxonomy, and sites that are conversion-oriented and filled with robust features. We also focus on sites that have complex, often multilingual solutions in place that are ready for omni-channel marketing. And we build all of it with modern CMS and DXM tools. So what makes your organization stand out? Well, together we can help uncover that answer and showcase it with a voice, story, and message that are as original as your brand and with technology that helps you effectively reach and resonate with the right audience at the right time. So let's talk a little bit about what we're gonna cover in this presentation. We're gonna talk about a group called ExtremeAg.Farm and we're gonna talk about their digital transformation journey. We're going to get into the business case behind why that transformation was necessary, our project approach to get there, and of course how Sitefinity helped to really make all of this possible. So let's get started. So what is ExtremeAg.Farm? Well, let me have them tell you themselves. When it gets pressure on it, things are going to tweak, things are going to change. The furrow irrigation, the water has to have a direction to run in. You're putting on band-aids. You're not getting down to the core of the issue. Take each individual unit off. But the first thing you're looking at is those films. Matt Miles, I farm in McGee, Arkansas. 
We go across the rows, just make as long uh, runs as possible. With Kelly Garrett, I farm an area in Iowa. Remember, this is the easy things you can do. This is not costing you any money. Chad Henderson, I farm in Madison, Alabama. We like to run at pretty good gallonages, even if we have to add water. Dan Lepkus, farm in uh, northern Illinois. You may need to come in here and adjust this singulator a little bit for different ones. Kevin Matthews, I farm in East Bend, North Carolina. The best thing you can ever do in farming is pay yourself. And a sprayer right. lets you do that. Lee Lubers and I farm at Gregby, South Dakota. For real farmers. Group of progressive growers. We're showing you real results. Just a perfect opportunity. To open our farm and open our experiences. Not afraid to try new things. With one common goal. To share their knowledge. To start paying it forward. And that's helping others. ExtremeAg.farm. It's an awesome deal. Let's do it. So ExtremeAg.farm is a new online community that's been started by a group of world-class, award-winning, and progressive farmers. Together, they're leveraging technology and commerce to share video and written content with farmers from all over the U.S. Their goal is to connect a dispersed and often underserved community while providing access to over 200 years of farming experience and knowledge. Their membership-based website enables access to a wealth of knowledge, connection, and advice. They aim to support a rapidly modernizing farming industry by sharing the real stories of farming and helping their members generate results by sharing advanced farming methods, covering more than eight crop types across six geographic regions, making complex farming situations more manageable through detailed tutorials and weekly field reports, passing on the best practice knowledge and advice on everything from farm implements to fertilizer, and discussing the opportunities and lifestyle of farming to help others generate a positive ROI. The farmers of Extreme Ag are granting the community access to their unique experiences, their successes and failures, the best practice advice, and their time-earned expertise. The website offers users several tiers of access depending on the level of engagement they seek with the farmers. Members can connect with the pros daily and quickly gain knowledge about specific farming techniques, like how to leverage test plots and properly manage pasture land, understand how to combat often extreme regional conditions by applying effective measures, and learning about each farmer's favorite seasonal equipment, why they use it, how to set it up, and how to maintain it. They can also read articles from agronomists and from national ag partners as well. Members have exclusive access to partner incentives and member-only deals, and Extreme Ag Farm also produces a regular schedule of learning videos, including field reports from each farmer, tutorials on specific implements and techniques, and members can understand the value and use of specific farming solutions with in-depth product videos. Members also have opportunities to interact with the farmers throughout the year. Each month, members can ask timely questions of the farming pros through a fresh desk integration, and they can participate in webinars, listen to podcasts, and even take part in member-only regional events. The site is promoted across a variety of social channels and is supported by numerous industry partnerships. Many of the farmers on ExtremeAg.Farm are also featured on other online media channels and industry podcasts, and so being represented with ExtremeAg.Farm gives them an opportunity to build their brand and their influence within the community. So why is ExtremeAg.Farm a story of digital transformation? To answer that, I think it's best to understand the types of changes that brands commonly engage with, and through that lens, you can better understand how each type of change brings about different results for organizations. So what types of change are possible? Now, today you might be tasked with managing a digital transformation project, but it's important to know that digital transformation is really just one type of change and digital transformation is really only required by businesses that are facing massive disruptions or seek to define a new way of doing business by leveraging technology to deliver new products and services. If that's not your goal, or at least not your primary objective within the current planning cycle, it's important to understand where your change model sits on the continuum of transformation. Depending on your organization's position in your industry, the scope of change you want to implement, and the available budget, you may find that your digital transformation project is mislabeled. A digital transformation effort can only be achieved if you first define your need, 
secured the budget and have the correct digital technologies in place to usher in dramatic change. So let's look at the landscape. So digital enablement is the ground floor of digital change and is focused on the selection and integration of effective fundamental technologies to sustainably elevate and advance an organization, its workforce, and its customers. This includes core pieces like digital connectivity, essentially converting business processes to digital ones and connecting data flows across silos by using technologies like APIs and other integrations. It's also about digital services, where you can expose and consume business services through digital channels, while often expanding the business relationship you have and adding value for your customers. Think Google Maps. There's lots of integrated data working for you, coming from a, a variety of different partner sources where people have different advantage for taking part in participating. Finally, there's digital experiences. And through these, we can change how the business fundamentally works and we can create new business models with digital platforms. So when Amazon went from facilitating a more direct way to sell books, they then transformed how we buy everything from music to toothpaste. And along the way, they enabled new business models with their global digital platforms and facilitated global cloud computing and storage. But this kind of transformation did not happen overnight. It started with enablement. It started by putting these things in place so that you can build connectivity, move to services, and then start building really powerful experiences. So the second type of change is digital optimization. And that's the process of using digital technology to improve existing operating processes and business models. When you're working on a project like this, you're generally focused on mapping systems and business functions that exist today. You're looking at the cost of delivering those services as they're currently designed, and you're really focused on planning for the upgrade or the replacement of those existing systems or optimizing the outcomes of what is there. It's really what it says it is. You're focused on taking those digital tools that you have and really putting a fine scope on or how they're used and making sure that they're used in the most optimal way for the best outcome. Now, the third type of change is digital transformation. And according to the Enterprises Project, digital transformation is the integration of digital technologies into all areas of the business, fundamentally changing how you operate and deliver values to customers. But it's also a cultural change that requires organizations to continually challenge the status quo, experiment, and get comfortable with failure. So how do you make the proper determination of what kind of change is really required of your business? I often find that looking at this from a level of disruption standpoint really helps you figure out how much change is required to stay competitive in your industry. So first, if you're looking at digital transformation, this is where your business model really requires change within the planning horizon to really stay competitive. If there's not change required to your business model, but you know there's improvements that are sought in really connecting with customers better, many times it's digital optimization that you should be looking at. And finally, if you are a team where you're really having your technology lead efforts and, and really like advance what you're trying to do, but the business is either passive or non-supportive of your projects, really you should be looking at digital enablement. That means you're probably at an earlier stage of adoption and it's, it's really about building consensus about the use of digital tools. And so you'll really wanna start at that ground floor before moving to optimization and maybe even convincing others to fully transform if the business requires it. So Extreme Ag rarely represents a full digital transformation for this group of savvy farmers. They've all had very successful careers. They're all very well known. They're sought after to speak at conferences and so forth. But through digital transformation, they've really been able to leverage technology to grow from their regional footprint of industry events to now being able to share their knowledge, their stories, and represent the brands that they align with at a national level. Through digital transformation and the appropriate technologies that support it, they've also been able to bring a unique membership-based business model to life in less than four months. Now, evangelist-driven content portals 
whether they're paid or free, can be an extremely valuable way to share a brand story in ways that you could never do with traditional advertising, all while transforming your brand and your company's approach to digital marketing. Now, this is Team Run Smart, and it's an example of a free community portal that we helped Freightliner Trucks build back in 2012. And we've recently overhauled the content strategy to support nearly 5,000 categorized posts. Today, the site has more than 70,000 members, and it currently touches many more people across the industry each month due to its extensive social media and direct marketing reach. Like Extreme Ag, Freightliner digitally transformed what was a sleepy customer service program and developed a cutting edge content platform for demonstrating the company's values and showcasing their trucking products through the lives of the people who drive them. So let's dig into the business challenges that have made extreme ag.farm a necessity at this time. First, let's face it, farming is a tough business. Margins can be slim on commodity crops. Market values often fluctuate and weather extremes hamper even the best laid plans. And your experience greatly affects your ability to survive and thrive. It's way more than putting seed in the ground. There's a lot to think about and, and prepare for. Soil preparation, moisture content, doing tissue samples that help you understand the health of plants and any deficiencies that might be there in key nutrients like nitrogen or boron or potassium. And then there's disease and pests. It just goes on and on. It is a very, very complicated and tough business to make it work. And just like in most industries, early career learning is available through college courses, but that's not the only path. Farmers can gain critical knowledge and techniques through ag extension offices, regional workshops and meetups, and seminars put on by industry partners. But often the best advice is from local farmers or a family member who passes their knowledge down from generation to generation. And not everyone has access to that kind of advice. Additionally, technology has taken over on the farm just like everywhere else. And so farmers not only need to understand soil, weather, crop life cycle, but they also need to understand technology that helps them optimize their performance on and farm these larger plots of land with fewer people. You know, they have drones for checking field conditions, automated tractors, precision application of nutrient products. There's computers everywhere on modern farming equipment. And the job still requires you to be savvy with maintenance to keep all these complex machines running and running amongst themselves. So there's also some issues with traditional farm training. Farmers really have more time to devote to learning and planning in the off season. And they often need help at critical times during the season and especially right now, and they may have nowhere to turn. Consulting is available, but it's not always in real time. And farmers often seek out connections at annual events held regionally or nationally. But just like everywhere else, COVID-19 has really changed the game in 2020. Traditional channels have been disrupted, events have been canceled, but people are still looking for connection, advice, and learning. ExtremeMag.Farm is poised to be a platform to help bridge an education gap that's opened up very wide. So let's look a little bit at the business opportunity of ExtremeMag.Farm. So these farmers, they wanna share their knowledge and they wanna pay it forward. They wanna give back to their community and the community of farming, and they want to build closer relationships with their industry partners and suppliers. Extreme ag farmers often have early access to new products and they can take advantage of in-kind arrangements to test, try, and share the results of their own studies before they promote the products to members. And face it, they also want to supplement their farming income. And having a membership site like this allows them to do that and grow a different kind of business revenue. It's also a transformative opportunity for them. So it allows them to build a new type of learning platform. It allows them to bridge gaps across miles, to share the knowledge that they have much faster. It helps industry partners test new products and show results to farmers in real time. And finally, it helps them build their personal brand. As I mentioned before, many of these folks that are on the Extreme Ag site also have other representation with other brands in other channels. So now I'm going to switch gears and talk about how we approach digital transformation with Extreme Ag. 
we're going to talk a little bit about project process and dig into timeline. So phase one, this was really about building a new brand that did not exist and launching it at a large national event. Now, the most important thing to know is that we only had about six weeks from the first contract to our first deployment. And they didn't have everything completely buttoned up either. They still didn't even have a finalized logo or an exact content plan or really any content to speak of. All that was there in those early stages of development was an idea. So beyond our ability to be a strong design and technology partner for them, the Extreme Ag team leaned into us for help with areas of transformation that they really had no experience with. And that included content management, membership management, and payment processing. So the first thing we needed to do was focus on discovery and planning. And we had to build uh, really out a project plan that would allow us to plan, design, and build for transformation simultaneously with a six-week initial deadline at hand. We also had to really focus and deliver on a technical ecosystem. So we had to pull together a series of partners that we knew could help actually make the site run. So at its core, Sitefinity was used for our content, member profile, and member level management. We use Stripe for our payment processing and all of the management of credit cards and subscriptions over the, the lifetime of membership. We used Freshdesk for supporting member farm tracked communications. And we use Vimeo for secure video storage of public and member only videos. We also used extensive use of SendGrid for email delivery from the website. And we're currently evaluating True Dialog for future texting services through the platform. The next thing we really needed to help them with was to focus on the business model. This was still a new idea, and so we leveraged our experience from building other evangelist-led community portals to help them understand the different opportunities that they had to expand their content and reach over time. We also helped them with content planning. We put together an initial editorial calendar together that guided them through the first few months of content creation. On the design side, there was a lot to do. We had to help them finalize their logo and then bring a strong visual identity to the website while also providing a personal touch so that the farmers really could share their industry and their personal backstory. Now, as with any membership system, especially ones that are paid, it really requires a lot of thought into how a member joins and maintains their subscription. So we worked through numerous rounds of wireframes and functional mockups, uh, but we did that in a way that kept our technicians focused on specific non-design related tasks so that eventually all of this would marry together during development. Now getting into development and testing, you know, as we started to approach launch, we really needed to work with the client to, to pull that initial content together, get it loaded, and really start working through the normal uh, cycle of change and, and requirements, um, of just finalization, making sure we have everything the way they want it. And so we leveraged Trello to really kind of manage that whole process. So the first version of the website was actually launched at an annual event called the Commodity Classic. And we pulled that off with just three days to spare. One of the major goals we had was to provide the ability for farmers to sign up as new members with a fully functioning payment system for credit cards. Not only did we provide that payment system, but we also facilitated a pay by check functionality as well. However, there was no rest for our team as we were already working on phase two by the time that event had started. During phase two, our focus shifted towards membership management and beginning to load the member only content and building that logged in experience. We worked with the team and their videographer to differentiate the public and membership website and to load another 40 videos or so of content to the website. We also developed a series of video-based training documentation to help the client team with all of the membership maintenance duties. At the end of phase two, we had a fully functioning website and a team who was ready to take on day-to-day -day management duties on their own. Really, this whole focus was about content management, content protection, 
putting all of the training and best practices in place, again, helping do that final bit of development and testing and pushing that out for our second launch. Now, in phase three, we focused primarily on our website integration with Freshdesk so that users could ask questions of the farmers. And we needed to control the flow and the volume of what might be endless queries to the farmers. And so Extreme Ag decided to limit the questions to only four per month for, per community member. However, if a member was willing to pay for more questions, they could purchase them at an additional $50 per question. After a question is submitted to the website, it's passed to a Freshdesk application where the farmers monitor incoming queries, either through the web-based interface or, more commonly, through the Freshdesk app. The app allows them to respond to members in real time, really from where they're at, and based on approved SLAs. We also launched some enhancements to member management so that users can upgrade to a higher level of membership as those become available. Sitefinity really helped us to deliver digital transformation and quickly. Sitefinity was truly a hub of activity, technology that really helped us facilitate all of this change. From content management that's easy to learn on, easy to train, and easy to do over time, we had all of those great tools to, to have our farm team be a, have that ability to add new content and manage that content effectively. Additionally, we were able to create multiple levels of membership so that we could manage members as they joined and protect content to their specific level of membership. Finally, we put in place really complex taxonomy, not all of which is there today, but is there in the future for once they have enough content on the site, we know that there will be different ways that users will want to find content. This could be uh, through seasonally or looking at content based on the type of farm that they are on, or maybe what region that they're in. Even though we have a small amount of content today, as that content starts to build, we are applying really smart taxonomy so that we can uh, bring faceted search and other kinds of display technology to make the, the, the ability to find content much, much easier. The other thing that's really just great about Sitefinity and the partnership that we had with them was that we could just build this very quickly. Sitefinity has a great MVC model that they've built out. Uh, we've got uh, drag and drop widgets that are all MVC. Um, and so really brand new technology, it's modern technology, and it was really fast to build. Also, the affordability of Sitefinity. Uh, there's multiple different models of the platform that we can, we can purchase for customers depending on the needs that they have. And the version we used was really affordable to help them get their site up and running. And there's also that ability to scale into new features over time. So as this site grows in membership and complexity, we can always bring a new uh, robust uh, Sitefinity solution to the table. In closing, I'd really just like to express how happy we've been with the outcomes that our team's been able to deliver to, to the folks at ExtremeAg.Farm. The site is performing as designed, and our teams were able to pull off a massive build on a very short timeline. Sitefinity has been able to help us deliver on digital transformation in record time, and we could not be happier with the way that this project has turned out. And we look forward to helping this business grow as they move into the future. Now, if you're in need of helping enhance your digital customer experience, feel free to drop us a line. I'd love to talk to you about some of the challenges you face today and some of the goals that you have for your projects. Refactored is one team. We're here for you. So let's please connect. Thanks again for your attention today. And I'm really happy to have had the opportunity to share our story about ExtremeAg.Farm.